smoked bacon, and melted cheese on toasted sourdough, plus fries and a drink, all for just $4.99. And here to tell you about it is the best spicy chicken mm -hmm. pump combo salesman in town, my cousin Gil. Yeah. Hey, Co Breezy, how you doing? Hey, Born Blessed. Hey, Tara Lee, how are you? Kane, what up, Kane? How you doing? Carter's dad. Hi, Carter's dad. What up, BJ? Good morning. What up, Malas? How y'all doing? Uh -uh. What up, W Bell? Good morning. Fully drenched. What up? He said he's doing good this morning. Doing good this morning. Okay, I like that. I like that. So what y'all got going on? It's Thursday. It's Friday Eve. We're gonna do some mixing and maxing and maxing and mixing in a minute. What's up, Born Bless 67? How you doing, gorgeous? ZCE, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Corey. How you doing, Mr. Corey Harrison? Hey, Big Lawrence. Good morning. Vegan meat soul. I like it. How you doing? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What the hell is that? Y'all are silly. Hey, how you doing, love? King James Yeezy. I see you. What's up? You good? Good morning. That's got to be something better than water, because, boy, let me tell you something. She'd be up and down that hallway for that water like it's gold. <laughs> Stay hydrated. It's hot out there. Good morning. What's up, Chris? Sing a song. What song would you like? What song would you like? We can turn this into karaoke hour. You know, hey, we here. What else do we do at work? <laughs> it has been a minute. Yeezy, where you been? Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, watch. In the next five, I'll put money on this one. She'll be back in a minute. I'll put money on it. She like clockwork, clockwork. I love her, but she like clockwork. And that's the type of people I need in my life. Dependable. You know what I mean? Like, they, they operate like clockwork. <laughs> if I look up and I know she's going to be there every five minutes, I can depend on her in a water machine every five minutes. That's my type of friend. <laughs> Hey, Meek, what's up, Big Meek? Hey, Curve 44, how you doing? W Bill, let, let, let me, please, let me today. No? Oh, okay. Go get you some of that special water. I almost want to know what's in it. Sing a song to you. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. No? You make me notice how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hey, hey, did you know? That's actually Louisiana's official state song. Oh. Ah, the more you know. The more you know. Hey, country, how you doing? Hey, Raj. Golden Eyes Records. How you doing, Golden Eyes? Golden Eyes, like cat eyes. Shonda, Shonda, just be great today. Shonda, be great. How could you be anything less than great? Knowledge is power. <laughs> the more you know, the more you grow. I'm with it. Chun Lee. They need rappers like me. Chun Lee. Vinda Kumar. Redneck 0210. How you doing? You good? Welcome on out to Baton Rouge. Why is he not playing for me? I'm on your side. 925. Uh, thank you, babe. Next, 9401, Baton Rouge is official. Number one for hip hop and RB. You already know what it is. It's time to do some mixing and maxing and maxing and mixing in the midday with my DJ, DJ Mario. It's Thursday. We're going to thug this thing on out because it's Friday Eve. We're getting closer to Friday, <laughs> step by step. Fix it. Let's do it with Max. 9401. Thank you, WBL. Yeah, one of my friends sent that to me this morning. Random acts of kindness. I know it's a really hard month for me. Isn't that sweet? Hey, and a bear. And a bear. Yep. And a really nice letter. My earth angels out here working, sending me extra tidbits. Hey, you good? You good? You great? You great? Come in, Wakanda forever. Come in, whole lot of it. Love you too, Neji. Good morning. What's up, TNT? It's me. Come on over here, money bag. What? Yeah, 
Sinatra. You good? This is the honorary mayor of Angie, Louisiana. Angie representative, what's up? The village of Angie. DJ Clip, what's up? Hold on, wait, I gotta tell you, DJ Clip took great care of me. I was out there Saturday at the Ice House. I turned around, DJ Clip walked up to the stage with a bucket of ice and a bucket of water. That's my boy. That's my boy. A bucket of water. A bucket of water. Yes, man. Sure, I wasn't gonna get thirsty out there at that club. He was like, whatever you're drinking, I got you. He already had it on deck. Oh, <laughs> so no, my it was, boy. Oh, it was a bucket of bottled water. A bucket of bottled water. Yeah, I forgot who I was talking to. Hey, I'm from the country now. Yeah. When you say a bucket of water, hey. Hey. Man, I thought he went out there. But that would have been nice, too. But I think he went out there to the hose pipe. No, he didn't do the hose pipe. The hose pipe. He didn't go he to the water hose. No, he didn't take it to Angie. We were I in the car. I thought he went out there to the well. No, he didn't. No, 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 no. Wait a second. I thought about you yesterday. I was Ooh, on my way home. Get hey, nobody's getting get married. married. Man, you know what? That Let's touch like and wedding. agree on that. That's wedding. Wedding nice. flower arrangements? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I'm not getting married. I'm not dating. I'm not engaged. I bet you that that. Teddy bear, that's a proposal. No. That's a proposal. Now, see, and that's how rumors get started. That's a proposal. That's how rumors get started. Let me tell you what that is, right? What a ring. Ain't no ring. Ain't no ring. Ain't nobody to bring no ring. Watch it. Hey, listen. Listen. If he watching, dear he. Dear he, hear ye, hear ye. Okay. I am available. What's up? But no, I mean, that's June is a hard month for me. You know, I lost my grandmother in June, my uncle in June, my um, grandfather so you want in June. For tomorrow? One of my friends. I'll have, a, I'll have a, a reminder today. Okay, I'll have a meeting for tomorrow. Oh, out no problem. So look, tomorrow morning, be here at about 10 30 or 11 o'clock. See, see what I'm saying? Please. See what I'm saying? So it's just. No, there ain't no engagement flowers, I wish. You know? Okay. I like, okay. So, since we're on my soapbox. So about. It, it was in 2000, it was the year I lost my grandmother. We did a company Christmas party. And we had door prizes, and it was at the office, and we were doing lunches. And I walked in, and I said, oh, I want that picnic basket. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it came with a table. It got down to the last couple of prizes. And then the entree called the number, and it was my number for the picnic basket. I hadn't used it. So that means we could go to, um... Uh, no, no, whoa, whoa, time, pause, wait, Dinner time. Blanc. Wait. Dinner on Blanc. Wait. Yeah. It got the knives, it got the plates. Dinner on Blanc. It got the one... Let's do Dinner on Blanc at the wall. When? Now you, wait, 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 you're missing the big part though. But you're missing the but big part. you got part. everything. I got everything but the date. Oh. So here's the pro. No. Deontay, didn't I say we? And you didn't, didn't say, I we. say we. Yeah, but, but then what, I'm not good enough? No, you're great. I'm just saying. You're great. You're great. But Let me be great, okay? But you are great. We're going. <laughs> but you're missing the whole point. I had this basket since 2011. Ain't used it yet. And then, I, and then when I do use it, I got to use it with my coworker.
ain't come to work to work today. <laughs> I'm just healed. I'm just healed. So what y'all got going on for today? Mr. Wise Guys. Mr. Wise Guys, hold on. Back to this car and truck wash. Where you at? Tell me your bell. Talk about all smooth. <laughs> 5707, no, 5705 Greenwell Springs Road. I tilt my head. 5705 Greenwell Springs Road. Is there a car wash always out there? You're just going in today. Tell us a little bit about it. FYL Black Man, what's him? Tell me that's a ease on about it. He's like a boss. <laughs> I don't know. He might come up in here with some good stuff, though. Let me see. Yeah, I got some tickets for Tory Lanes. Okay, I got some tickets for Drake. Hey, Mark Anthony's catering. Mark, I'm not talking to you either. Mark Anthony's catering. What's up? You, you bring in grub or no? I'm trying to see what he meant about BR Melons. <laughs> right. Right. Well, you know, he's from Angel, Louisiana. And those are those um, Washington Parish watermelons. And they have, like, the best watermelons. And he said if they're grown in Baton Rouge, they're suspect. Like our soil ain't good. Like we don't know how to raise a watermelon. Yes, they're always open at the okay at the location. Hey Sophie, 70181, what's up? How are you? Wait a minute, DJ Cole Breezy, Drake's obituary album cover? <laughs> I saw you said that. You are so childish. Y'all gotta be nice to Drake. Drake ain't bother nobody. Scoop. What's up, Black Ice? Drake ain't bothering nobody. He said, can't we all just get along? Didn't Jay Prince go out there and say, listen, guys, guys, we don't want any more beef on the scene. We're just going to let it go. Let it go. Drake out there dancing to Beyonce and Destiny's churning them. Did you see that? I was mad about it because he did kind of bust that routine better than Michelle Kelly and Beyonce together. I like, he's been practicing this routine for quite some time now. He is the missing child of Destiny. <laughs> and y'all going to let him be all right about it. No, that, that was the dance move that should have ended his career. That was the one. Drake can't be a bully then, punk out. Right, right. I'm telling you, you know, but I'm a work in progress. Because if we beefing, I'm a Taurus. If we, we, if we're beefing one day, we're always beefed out. <laughs> and it ain't to the beef the way I'm just looking for you with it. We just don't deal with each other. It's good. You sit in your corner. I'm going to sit in mine. Because you have done just that much. You don't deserve to be in my presence. So I'm okay with letting you go. Because you have too much turmoil. You know, but not him. Not him. He throws his little rock and then he come out. And then they go back and forth. I honestly hadn't paid that much attention to Pusha T until they did this. But, hey. No, WBL, but if I see you, it's on. No, no, we don't do that either. <laughs> Curious George, what's up? When y'all coming by to see me, y'all ain't been here forever. Block B, Leroy Banks. Now, is that Leroy? Or did you get fancy and do Leroy? Leroy. How you doing, Leroy? Hey, Green 3204, what's him? No, W. Bell, we don't be out here in these people's streets cutting up. That's not, that's not what we do. Bell money short. Gas is high. Ain't nobody coming to get me. <laughs> my mama already put that in my head a long time ago. Better go on out here. Behave yourself, act accordingly, because ain't nobody coming to get you. <laughs> hmm. That's when you got to get smart. Get you some friends as judges. <laughs> um, somebody need to pin the Dixie Cup, ladies, in VR. It's hot out here. It is hot as fish grease. If hell is any hotter, I'm going to treat you right. I can't afford to go nowhere hotter than this. <laughs> Florida, <laughs> Texas, hell, I can't, I can't afford to go. It's too hot. It's hot out there. Come get me bail bonds. You got to get smart. Get you some friends that's judges, some attorneys, some bail bonds owners. Come get me bail bonds. I kid you not. Y'all, when they came up here and said they wanted some commercials for come get me bail bonds, I swear to God, I thought the people was lying to me. He pulled out the card. The card said, come get me bail bonds. I swear. I don't have time to make this stuff up. I'm not smart enough to make this up. <laughs> Curious George. They came through here for come get me bail bonds. I got the fresh fruit included. Where? Where, Black Foreign Boss? Where y'all got the fresh fruits at? Mr. Kevin, what's up? Curious George. As a matter of fact, tis the season. Y'all need to come on over here and let me give you one of these packages right quick. <laughs> Have you seen the news? All your cousins volunteering to reach out for your service, man. Man, listen. I just 
cut the news off. Y'all not about to depress me. It's too early. It's too early in the day. I don't feel like it. I did see one of your cousins making headline news for all the wrong reasons, though. Did you see the lady who, um, she was working at a bank. Her draw came up a little short. And when I say a little short, I mean $25,000 short. According to the news reporters, I don't have time to make this stuff up. Um, then she didn't show up for work the next day. And then they found her in some part of California. Now, this is me thinking out loud. One, I can't give you a report on $25,000. Then I'm going to lose my job behind it. Then I go to California where it's really this expensive. Is America, California is like $5 a gallon. It's a girl with Tangela Maxson in the midday with you and Maxson on the floor. I need to get there. I need to stop in some hotels. Then I got to eat. Well, you know, I need something good. Rush she's coming from freedom. It's limited. I've done some random research according just, to USA I mean, just, Today. Scientists she have figured out why you get hangry. <laughs> No, no really. they paid somebody like to do this research, Share with the Dixie Cups and they got spent fresh some really good yeah. money on it. So Go ahead. Now, they say that the study was conducted Wait, in the at? University of North Carolina, and they figured we, out the reason why we get so angry stand. when we're hungry. Share with the Dixie Cups dear got sir, fresh dear fruit me. in them. You do not need to conduct research for this. I'm going to tell you why. Because hey, I'm bon, hungry bon. How you doing, and I'm bon, aggravated bon. if you're saying something other than what's on the menu and if you deliver or not. You know what I mean? Like, come on. I've Who done some random research on these jobs. Can, can I please fill out the application? Hey, big homie. What's saying, dad, big homie? Two, this Father's two, Day, five. I wanted to say. Oh, you haven't met your house, girl. Wait a minute. Thank you for teaching me how to ride a bike. Right now. Not right I'm sure now. it was worth every year. Not right now. See, that's only good for the people for in Sherwood because, see, we can track them down. We know our neighbors. <laughs> Don't invite the whole hood that ain't in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start giving out your house address. We'll be on your doorstep talking about where the Dixie Cup lady at. She said, I'm not. Girl, <laughs> I'm glad I asked. These are questions that need answers immediately. King James gonna be the first one pull up, and I can't see King James to your house. He don't know how to act. They gonna be two, two, five. What it do? King James talking about he want the red kind with the strawberries. If I'm responsible for sending him to your doorstep, he'll be there every day. You'd be mad at me. Yeah, he'd be there to buy all your stuff out, but you'd be mad at me. It works. He don't know how to act when he go places either. He don't know. <laughs> but them my people. I love him though. I love him. <laughs> He'll even bring his own supplies. <laughs> he said he coming back every day for a free sample. Something about the word free motivates me. <laughs> Girl, stop. Hold on a second. They've done research. And according to LinkedIn, the higher your salary, the more stressed out you are. Is that true? Is it true? I need to know who are they serving? Who are they asking these questions to? Because I know on my broke days, I'm stressed. When I got a little extra on gas, a little extra on food, I'm, I'm all right. What up? When I got a little up? extra and I can do some shopping, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So I just, I don't know. But W. Bell says that he agrees with it. Um, more money, more problems. That's what the song said. So if the song said it, it's got to be true, right? According to the new study, the higher you salary, the more stressed out you are. And 68% of the people making over $200,000 a year said that they have high stress um, versus than less than half the people who are making under $100,000. Mm. I don't know. I was reading something the other day, and they have this, um, I gotta find it. It's not a prayer closet. It's a panic or a time I got to return the rain to make the kindness for you today. and A college that has the cry closet. How are you, Lizzie? I miss you. Come see me. I'm here. I'm at work. And if you're in town, you need to come see me sometime this year, yeah? Yeah? And I just need to know, a college has a cry closet in the library for the stressed out students. We didn't have that at, at none of my schools. We didn't have it at Capitol High. We didn't have it over there. Um, I mean, Capitol Middle. We didn't have it at Baton Chai. We didn't have it at Southern. We didn't have one at LSU. We, I mean, a college has a cry closet. He said, do what? A cry? What? A cry closet. Where the students can just take a moment, go into the closet, and cry. How would you feel if your job told you that we're going to designate this as your cry closet? And you saw your co-workers going into that cry closet. Do you think that's something? I mean, I want a three-day weekend at least one day out of the month. I'm all for that. I'm also for um, 
I don't know, maybe a company potluck once a month. Be that funny. I do like. Be I like that baby. idea. Be a crack closet. Black, 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 black. Nap time. <laughs> right nap time. I am for nap time. I'm here for that. Mm. Yeah, a crack closet. A crack closet. People are going through stress, but. I mean, I don't know if it was a new study, but according to Mashable, this is something that they tried, and they even put teddy bears in it. And a blanket. But what if you get to the cry closet and it's full? Do you go to another closet or? I don't know. And then it's at a college. It's not at a um, daycare where they have time out. It's not at a middle school. I don't know. Google has an app area. They have Google Sleeper. Did they put snacks in there? They didn't mention snacks. I guess you can take your own snacks. The survey hasn't been going long enough to see if it's actually working or not, but I guess there's some comfort in knowing that it's there in case you need it. I guess. I got the sickest charge. Oh, Magnum, they're charging. What up? Hey! Sorry. Next, 94.1, Baton Rouge is official. Number one for hip hop, Nori B, DJ Mario, mixing and maxing and maxing and mixing in the midday. You already know what time it is. If it's your birthday, I want to put you on blast. We're about to go into this big weekend for fathers. So, Father's Day weekend is coming up. I got something special for you, boo. Keep it locked right here with Max. Right. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna hook somebody up. I'm gonna hook somebody up with a. I said that was being funny. I said, how about Highway to Hell? He said, they got it. I said, what? Highway to Hell with a lullaby for somebody up with some tickets for Essence. Essence is coming. I'm excited about that. I have some details coming up pretty soon. Oh, it's almost your birthday. When is your birthday, W? Oh, this was finally legal. Twenty one again. What up, Rich Boys 225? How you doing? What up? How you feeling, Rich Boys 225? <laughs> Wait, I want to say that right. I'm just going to say hell. Like, December. What? Shut up. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, Diane Tilson. The hotline didn't require nothing else. They know incredible would be accountable. Boy, 
And then I go in the water back. <laughs> as long as I can blow breath, I, 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 when I run out of there, I don't please don't. Don't don't please don't. 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 Absolutely nothing you can do about it. And 
I will hook somebody up with these tickets to Beyonce, Jay Z, before two o'clock. Tory Lanez, before two o'clock. And um, I might even I do something special for the Father's Day weekend. Hey, Pat, what's up? Oh, like, nah, that's, got, that's got to be scripted. That's got to be. That, nah, hell no. I mean, you, you don't know what's that even, man. I mean, you, you work with WWE. Hell no. And then no. I have those tickets mm -hmm. to Drake, too. I mean, Drake these the people, you, you don't even see Vince that much anymore. That's like that, them too. switching out, um, Pat yeah. making them blonde, and we don't know what's in Right. Is it a McConaughey? Ready, I'll no. roll. And I want to take somebody with me. I like this little doohy kid. It's called the DU recorder. You can record the stuff off your screen. Mm -hmm. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. 